Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your browser with this new Chrome extension, which is free and open source. You can just download from the Chrome web extension, which is Nano Browser AI Web Agent Automation, and download and install it and add to your Chrome browser. You can also use this on web browser or Edge or any other browser that you have. So let me just show you an example, and after that, I'll show you how to set up this. So if I just tell it here to, so I just give you a command here, search on Google top 5 Samsung phone and give me the price. Then if I just click send and it will start to create the plan and I'm not touching anything and it will just automate my browser and start to search it automatically and do the tasks for me. So as you can see, it's creating the plan and now it's searching the search bar with the navigator. I'm not doing anything. It search the top five Samsung and giving me the price here. And as you can see, it's done. And now it's validating the tags that I provided. So this is just a simple automated tags that I told this extension to do. But you can do many lot of things for your own purpose. So let me show you how to set up this. So after you download the Nano Browser extension in your Chrome browser, you just need to. Go to a new tab and go to the extension and open the nano browser extension and if you click on open settings you need to add a new provider so i'm going to choose gemini so you need to add a gemini api key so to get a free api key you just need to go to the google ai studio so to get a free api key you need to go to google ai studio and after that you will see there's an option called get api key click on this and you, you can create a free api key just click on create api key and it will start to generating an API key for you and you can just copy the API key now and just paste on the API key information and click save and you can see the models that is going to use Gemini, Gemini 2.5 Pro and Flash click save and now my nano browser is connected to Gemini models and if we go down you can choose the planner option here Let's choose the model Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then choose the navigator as Gemini 2.5 Flash Preview and choose the validator as Gemini 2.5 Pro. So now this is how you set up your nano browser to automate any tasks. Now let's see another use case how you can actually use this for your own purpose. So I just give you another simple command go to my X account and search Elon Musk and like the recent post they share. So I'm just going to click send. And it will start to make the plan. So you must log in with the with the X account or whatever the website that you are going to automation tax. You must have to log in with your account. So it can go to and log in with your account and do the automation tax. So I just give a simple command to go to my X account, go to the Elon Musk page and like the recent post. And this process is a bit of a slow right now, but as you can see, it's trying to now as you can see it's on my X account. And now it's trying to search the Elon Musk page. And here is the Elon Musk page. And it's, it's trying to find the recent post. And as you can see, navigator, scroll down to further to find the like button. And it's trying to find the like button. And now, as you can see, it's liking the recent post. And now it's trying to validate the task, trying to validate the task is already done. So task is already done here. So that's it guys. This is the video that I want to show you. Now you can use this for free and you can automate your task in your browser with lots of use cases. If you want to just go to the Chrome extension and install this nano browser and get the free API key from Gemini. You can use other API key like OpenAI. Anthropic, DeepSeek, or any other model that you can use. But as API key is free in Gemini, that's why I'm using it. But remember, process is kind of slow. But this is just the beginning. AI is getting better and better every day. So I'm just showing you the early phase of this so you can learn how to automate your tasks in your browser. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching.